How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Stardew Valley Let's Play and guys I am so pumped for today's episode because we have our first festival of summer just about to start. Let's jump straight into it. Ah uh, yes Aaron, time to get up. It's a nice new day in our house. It's full of stuff now after our museum excursion but uh, it does sound like it's raining outside but uh, let's get started with a little bit of living off the land. And today's episode is about corn, and it says it's unusual because it lasts for two seasons. So this is pretty useful if you want to go the corn path. But uh, as you guys know, we've gone, we've gone all in on blueberries pretty much, and uh, we're going to be making a lot of cash from that soon. And the spirits are displeased. No spirits, no. Oh, save me, green rock thing. Oh no. So as you can see, guys, we have Robin working on our second silo. Because my other one is like getting very full. And we've got our nice new tappers ready to get some things off the tree. Oh, and it looks like some of our flowers are starting to grow. That is awesome. Now, a few of you were telling me in the comments, you're like, happy, happy. You need to build a recycling machine. Uh, how do I make them, actually? Uh, let's see, where are you? I need an iron bar. So we'll put our gold bar back. We'll get the iron one out. Uh, because I'm getting all that stuff from fishing, uh, but I'm not actually recycling them. So, thankfully, we've got a nice area set up here already. So maybe let's just put it there. And uh, when we do our little crab pots today, we can maybe put some of this stuff into the recycler. So let's try it. Can I put newspaper into it? Whoa, it worked! I'm going to get something out of it. Oh, so that's kind of cool. So we can start to recycle like the broken glasses and the CDs. And hopefully we'll get some pretty nice items. Now, let's see. We're going to... Oh, I don't want to eat the poppy. Ooh. Now, I believe uh, Penny, uh, this is one of her favorite gifts. So, this is kind of cool. So, we'll hang on to a few poppies. I also believe it's a bundle for the bulletin board. I think it's the chef's one. Yeah, so I do need to put a poppy into our uh, bundle box. So, maybe let's put... Let's put a normal poppy there. And because Penny likes these, we'll add these to our loved gift box uh, so to give to all the other townspeople. So it is a bit rainy today, so I don't need to water anything. There's nothing else to harvest right now. So what I can probably do is we're going to do some exploring today and get ready for the luau, which is on the 11th of this month. So I might actually just get like some wheat or something to plant uh, to get my farming skill up a bit more. But uh, as always, guys, I'll do a few resource days. If something interesting happens, I'll share it with you. But uh, other than that, let's zoom ahead and I'm going to chop this tree. Whoa, we found another infested area. Oh my goodness. But I am happy for a little bit of combat because we need lots of monster materials anyway. As long as those slimies don't get me, stay back. Crazy slime. Oh my gosh. I should try using a bomb if there's lots of them together. But uh, as you can see, oh, you can't see. I was going to say I'm up to level 106, I think. Um, but I think it's showing the monster infested sign in the top right corner. But that's fine. Ah, no, I'm almost dead. No, I can't move. Ooh. Okay, here we go. It's all going to be fine. Just keep swinging happy. Put a little torchy down. There we go. Life is good. I'm going to have to eat some salmon berries. Ah, oh, yep. Beautiful. Okay, let's eat some berries. So as you can see, that this supply, they don't heal for much. They don't give you... Oh, they don't give you tons of energy, but uh, they definitely help out. Uh, I don't really need the, the algae, the algae stuff. Uh, so let's just get some more slimies. Beautiful. Oh, so now, once I beat this slime, I should get a staircase. Ah, lovely. And I think I've got enough slime now to finish the monster bundle in the community center. Oh, we just got two rubies. So that's that. Oh, is that a boulder monster? Yes, it is. I have to mine it. Ah, no, they're fast. Oh, you're a fast little crab monster thing. Oh my gosh. And another bomb. Okay, let's start, let's start using a few bombs. Okay, there we go. Fire in the hole. Whoa, that cleared heaps of stuff. Holy moly. And uh, okay, a few more slimies. So it's 7.50 now, um, so I should have enough time to get to level 110, I reckon, uh, which would be pretty good. There we go, get rid of this monster thingy. Alright, is there anything else interesting? Sometimes, when I find the staircase early, I have a quick look, just make sure there's no ores, but other than that, I just keep moving. So I'm going to eat some more salmon berries, just to get my health a little bit higher. It is uh, dangerously low, so let's just get, just, let's, let's just get out of danger zone, you know what I'm saying? But uh, here we go. So, level 108. Okay, I'm almost there. So, let's see if we can make it before the end of the day. 
Oh, we found the staircase. Is there going to be treasure on level 110? Yes, there is. What is it? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, purple boots. Space boots. Oh my gosh. Four defense and four immunity. I'll swap you a sap. I can't. <laughs> I will take the boots though. So we had the firewalker. Plus three, plus three. And these are plus four, plus four. Holy moly, guys. That is phenomenal. So there is only 10 levels left of the mine. And uh, oh, is this a mushroom cave? No way. Oh my goodness. I need to get rid of some stuff. Let's get rid of the crab. Yeah, I don't need that. Whatevs. No, I've got plenty of those. That's fine. So let's pick up these mushrooms because I want to start making that life elixir stuff too. But uh, I wonder if I can get to level 105. Oh, is this the one that had the amethyst last time? Oh, no. No, there's monsters coming. No. But this is a mushroom level. Oh, don't the red ones stack? No way. Are you kidding? Oh, it could be a different quality, uh, perhaps. Oh, gosh. And there's bats for days. I need to get rid of stuff. We might as well get it. So the cool thing about the mines is we have these themed levels every once in a while. And I've found a few. So that's actually pretty cool. Where's the staircase, though? I can't see it anywhere. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, guys, I hope you're ready for the luau tomorrow. I'm excited. Let's see what it's all about. Oh my gosh, it's here. It's the festival day, the time of the luau. I can't wait to get started. Bang the drums and beat the music box. And as you can see, guys, I've made a bit more money. I was selling all the gems I was finding in the mines. And because of our perk to give double gems, we're actually getting a lot of extra ones. So we've got a new living off the land starting tomorrow. An unusual amount of shells and corals are expected to wash up on beaches all around the world. I'm no scientist, but I've heard it's something to do with crab mating season. At any rate, you could make some good coin combing your local beach. <gasps> well, we've repaired the bridge too, so we, we should definitely check that out and get some extra stuff. And the weather's going to be nice tomorrow. And are the spirits going to be happy for once? The spirits are very displeased. <laughs> oh, spirits, no! Oh, they're so crazy. Oh, my goodness. And as you can see, we've had some new flowers grow as well. I think they're called spangles, yeah. And uh, one of the cool things is Carolyn, uh, Pierre's wife, loves them as a gift. So we'll add them to our gift box uh, because, yeah, we might as well be using them to get some hearts up. And if you have a quick look, I've started giving gifts to people and we're starting to build those heart meters, which is really nice indeed. Now, we don't have long because the luau starts at uh, 9 o'clock on the beach. So we've only got an hour or two to uh, water our vegetables and all that good stuff, our crops. Now, the thing with the Lao Ao, it's got a little event called Potluck, and they all cook a big soup together, and we have to bring something along, um, which we got a note about it yesterday in the mail. So it's really hard to get the super best result in the first year, but because we grew all that cauliflower, we can actually take one of them along, and that should give us a pretty good result and I think we get friendship bonus with everyone in town, which is amazing. So we've got all this finished. So I don't have too much time. So we'll pretty much, we'll just get that. We'll refill our water. We'll quickly do our crab pots. And uh, I'll pick the rest of the spangles as well. So let's see. Where's my wormies? Where's, are they wormies? Are they, I'm going to call them wormies. That's fine. We'll put that in there. Beautiful. We'll get that. Lovely. Let's try doing a CD today. Let's pick that. Now, I'm also going to move this. Uh, because the bubble's blocking the plants there. So let's try putting it there. We'll put the CD in. Lovely. And uh, we'll pick the rest of these. Now, uh, I know you guys, a few in the comments were telling me to get some beehives. Uh, so maybe if I put more flowers here, I could put some beehives along there or something. But we'll design that uh, as we go, guys. So I'm going to chuck all the spangles in my gift box. And uh, we can start them giving them to Caroline, which will be amazing. So we don't have long, we need to get to the beach. Let's get the party started, people. Oh, I need my cauliflower too. Where is it? Where's my cauliflower? Wrong box, people. Where are you? Okay, now we're ready to party. Whoa, we've just bumped into Maru on the way to the festival and she has a question for us. She says, I've decided I'm going to build a robot someday. And like with Abigail, we've got some questions. Uh, so we can say that should be very easy for you. You should be more realistic, so that sounds like a negative response, or it sounds challenging. So she loves inventing and stuff, so I don't know, I feel it would be challenging to build a robot. You're right, but I love a challenge. Okay, she seemed to like that response, so that's a pretty good one. But we need to go! It's already started, people! Panic in the streets! Don't eat the soup without me! Well, do you eat soup or do you drink soup? I guess you kind of do both, depending on what soup it is. But uh, anyway, it's down at the beach, and I'm ready for action, people. Let's go! 
Whoa, check it out. Like the beach is like totally transformed. <gasps> this is amazing. There's stuff everywhere. There's like chicken and like green stuff and flowers and, and some juice. And oh my gosh, this is incredible. So let's talk to a few people. Look sharp. The governor's here for his annual visit. If you brought something for the potluck, make sure to add it to the soup cauldron. Yeah, we'll do that, all right. And this, oh, it's the governor. What a lovely occasion. It's always a joy to visit Stardew Valley. Oh, we're going to make you feel so good today with awesome soup. Hey, free buffet. One of the perks of living here. Enjoy a kid. Oh, Pam, she's a funny one. These blasted sand flies keep landing on the food. Yeah, they need like little tent things over it. And it looks like Marie's like making money. Not Marie. If you brought something for the soup, climb the stairs on the other side and throw it in. Okay, you ready? We're going to put it in the soup. How do I, how do, I do it? Oh, there we go. So I can put my salmon berries or the cauliflower, but the cauliflower should give us a pretty good outcome. And uh, there's Caroline. I put fresh vegetables in the garden. <gasps> okay, so everyone's just like the other events, guys. You can sort of run around and chat to everyone. Maybe if I get on the governor's good side, he'll give me my business a tax break. Ooh, I wonder if he likes aged whiskey. I, I meant to ask too, when we have these events, do you want me to talk to absolutely everyone? Or do you just want me to sort of get the gist of it and uh, then we can like advance to the event? I woke up late, stepped out on the door and found myself in the middle of all this hubbub. Oh, yeah, because Elliot lives in this little shack here, so he's probably like, what's going on? How's the farming coming along? It must be busy season for you. It's been crazy, Leah. Oh my goodness. Oh, you can't go to the other side of the thing today. I fixed the bridge and they broke it. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. I'll be back here by the trees. The air is a lot cooler. So Marlon, I don't think he likes the heat. Maybe he's suggesting he likes ice cream. We do this festival every year to give the governor a taste of everything the valley has to offer. Oh my gosh. And let's say hi to Sam, governor, who cares? Oh, poor governor. Oh, it looks like Lou at Linus is uh, cooking. A slow, continuous rotation is the key to achieving the perfect roast. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good idea, that. So I'll put a voting card on screen if you want me to chat to everyone when we have these events. And uh, yeah, let me know and I'll sort of take it from there. I'm full, but what else is there to do besides eat? Well, I noticed, Mr. Clint, that a few people are dancing away here. Check it out. Emily's going for it. Emily, what are you doing? She's unresponsive. She's grooving out to the rhythm, people. Come on, Emily, we can dance. <laughs> and who's this? Is this Robin? Ow, you stepped in my foot, dear. <gasps> oh, hello. This is tiring, honey. Are you ready to visit the buffet soon, Pan? <laughs> Poor Demetrius. And let's see how grumpy this guy is today. What's his name? George. That music, it's too loud. Can't I have a little peace and quiet to enjoy the ocean? Oh, George, you're so grumpy. You crazy chicken. So let's get this started. So I think if we talk to the mayor again, uh, should we move forward with the luau? The governor seems a little hungry. Yes, let's start. So you, there's all these different outcomes depending on what item you put in. So if you put like really yucky stuff, I think the governor almost gets sick. So yeah. Well, folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put in high quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't want the governor to regret his visit to the valley. Oh goodness, so yeah, you can put yucky stuff in, or it can be neutral or just amazing, so. Well, Governor, what w would you do us the honor of tasting the soup? Whoa, that, that, that thing must be huge, this pot, it's bigger than the people. Of course, I've been looking forward to this all year. Oh, Governor, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, he's drinking the soup. <gasps> Everyone's like, oh my gosh, it's he, what's it gonna be? He's speechless, hang on. Does he like it? Yes, we got a smiley face. Oh my gosh. Ah, that's a very pleasant soup. The produce from this valley never disappoints. Oh, governor, I think he's liked it. Oh my gosh. And the mayor's having it. He's just saying, is this really okay? Mmm, tasty. You all did very well today. Oh my gosh. And it's really cool too, like if you don't put anything in the soup, uh, the governor actually comments that it seems to be missing something. So it, it's really interactive. Now, who else wants some soup? Everyone's like, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Woo. The luau was a success. Good thing I brought something tasty for the soup. So if we're still playing this in the next year, I will try and get the top uh, result. But uh, that should have still given us 60 points, uh, friendship points with the whole town. 
Uh, which is pretty nice. As you can see, we're starting to get extra. Oh, Linus finally has a heart. He finally has a heart with this. It's amazing. Let's go to Mushroom Land. I think they seem to grow a bit more in summer. I don't know if it's just me or not. Let me know in the comments if I'm crazy. But uh, I've noticed a few more mushrooms lately. So that's a kind of good thing. Uh, especially to make all the beautiful life elixirs. But uh, looking at the time there, guys. We might start to wrap that up there for today. Now, in our next episode, we'll be looking... I put a torch on the fence. Well, it is night time. So that's probably... Probably a good thing. Uh, in the next episode, we'll probably look at harvesting our blueberries and getting our house expansion. And uh, let me know, I would like to start building another area of our farm too. Uh, this area is looking pretty nice now. There's not too much more to add. Uh, so we could work on building a new area, which would be lots of fun indeed. But anyway, guys, smash the like button if you're enjoying our Stardew Valley adventure. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more content from me. And here's the most important part, as always. You'll stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Days, signing out. See ya!